I make mathematical sculpture, taking abstract ideas from mathematics and transforming them into physical forms. Even viewers who are not mathematicians can get a feel for the logical structures underlying an artwork. The beauty of mathematics is manifest in the patterns and interconnections of the form. I call this sculpture Solar Flare. It began as a mental exploration. I'm always playing with ideas that intrigue me. When I find an idea that I like enough, an idea that deserves to become real, I do everything I can to make it exist, to find a physical material to express the idea. Here's a small wood model I made. It really captures the essential concepts, and I find it quite beautiful. I love the way each part passes around a neighbor, like the arms of two people linking elbows. This definitely deserves to exist on a larger scale. So I also made this larger version, from 60 identical pieces of laser-cut Baltic birch plywood held together with cable ties. I like it hairy like this, with the ends of the cable ties sticking out. There are cube-like three-fold vertices and pointier five-fold vertices. Each piece of the sculpture connects a three-fold corner to a five-fold corner. You'll notice there's a tab in the middle of each piece, and the edge of the tab lines up with the mating place. They must line up because two planes intersect in a straight line. The tab is for it to connect with its elbow-linked mate. These tabs are largely hidden, but they're crucial for rigidity. The cross links they provide triangulate the geometry, making the structure much stronger. Here it is again, but dyed blue to give it a little more character. The inside is a lighter shade, so it glows from within. The full-scale sculpture is in Topeka, Kansas, about a block away from the state capitol building. The assembly took half a dozen people most of one day. The parts are bolted together with stainless steel nuts and bolts using three types of brackets bent to the proper dihedral angles. The nuts have nylon inserts so they can't vibrate loose, but it means a lot of work is required to screw them on. Large threaded rods hold the sculpture down to the cement base. I'm pretty sure this will stay put, even in a tornado. Each piece connects to five neighbors using six brackets, two at each end and two for the center tabs. We can connect some of the brackets to each piece before the assembly. The construction proceeds by adding one part at a time, positioning it and bolting it to its neighbors. The parts are 3 sixteenths of an inch thick stainless steel joined with quarter inch bolts. It's something of a puzzle to figure out how each connects with its neighbors, so over several hours it slowly grows and takes form. Even though I designed it, I'm still amazed by how everything fits together exactly. The power of mathematics is evident in the fact that this could never work unless all the lengths and angles were properly considered and calculated, so it could be seen as a tribute to linear algebra. Even when half finished, I think it looks pretty cool. It yearns for completion. There are 600 nuts, 600 bolts, and 1,200 washers in the sculpture altogether. Finally, the moment when the last piece is put into position. 500 pounds of steel. When done, I love its coherence. The parts in the whole work together in an amazing way. I hope that everyone who walks by enjoys trying to understand its patterns and thinks a bit about the beauty of math. The world needs more public artworks that can engage people to appreciate the importance of mathematics and spur them to invest more in math education. So if you're ever in Topeka, Celebrate the joys of mathematics by stopping by to check out Solar Flare.